Okay, so we're getting some cool shots of, the, of these cars here and uh, it's pretty dope. Although I, I'm not a car photographer, so I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing. Hey YouTube, what's happening? Uh, my name is Nelson, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video today, we're talking about car photography. Uh, it was my first time taking some photos of some cars uh, that weren't parked on the side of the road or in a car park. So I had two work buddies of mine that uh, offered to let me use their cars to take photos of. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, so we ended up in a town called Willemshaven. Uh, it's out on a harbor sort of thing. The first shoot, I didn't actually have my video camera running, so couldn't get any footage, but I did get photos done and to me they turned out really well, but there's also a lot that can be improved on them next time in terms of symmetry, um, positioning of the car and stuff like that, different angles, things like that, all can be improved. Uh, but I do like a lot of these shots. Uh, I went for a bit of a darker tone uh, with these shots here with the Mazda and then with the Lexus I went uh, a little bit more warmer sort of reddishy tones uh, i think they all came out really well i will say that car photography is it was it was daunting at first because uh, to know how to get a good shot of a car is a little bit difficult but i did some research and i was able to find some shots some angles and all that little perspectives but overall i was happy with everything that we did there we then moved to another location where we weren't uh, distracted by anything when we could uh, sort of park the cars how we wanted and start to take some, I don't know, what do you say, like more controlled type shots uh, instead of worrying about somebody coming up behind us on the street. A lot of the shots are very similar of the cars, but I think both cars are different in their own way. Uh, obviously with the colors and then uh, how I would capture them again, say for next time. Uh, I just done both cars pretty much the same shots each just different cars, so some turned out well for one and the others turned out well for the other one. But yeah, so, uh, and then as, then the sun was setting, so we used that as a backdrop. I'd say I tried to get some cinematic type shots, but didn't really turn out as well as I'd hoped for that type of thing. But uh, in the end, they still came out better than I expected. All the photos came out better than I expected, um, which leaves room for improvement for the next shot, or oh, next shoot. But overall, I do have a lot to learn in terms of taking photos of cars. So uh, with that said, uh, I still have some more shoots coming up and I'm very happy about that. Gives me like a chance to practice and all that. I can even practice on my own car. Uh, I use the 50 mil from Yong Nuo, um, mainly for most of the shots, just because I got that low aperture. Um, or is it high? I have no idea. So I could get that crispy bokeh uh, down to 1.8 with that. And um, yeah, I, I love this lens, it works really well. Uh, the only thing is the autofocus is hella loud. It's pretty sharp images, um, better than my kit lens. Uh, so yeah, definitely worth the money, that's all I say. So uh, yeah, I think my favorite shot of the day would be this one, purely because, okay, the, the symmetry is all messed up in it, but I like the angle of the car, I like how I was able to colour it and it just turned out a lot better than I first expected and this was, this bridge was a one way bridge so when we, uh, when I jumped out of the other car to take a photo of this one, uh, we didn't have much time before another car was coming so it was sort of a quick shot uh, but it, I, I love it. it, for me it's probably the best picture that I, take, that I took on the day, um, so yeah, happy with that. So yeah, that's it guys, uh, thanks for watching this video and if you did like it, smash that like button for me. Also subscribe if you're not subscribed for more content. But yeah, that's it from me guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.